All praises, all glory. We go to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And I have another article. Um, this dated Thursday, June 23rd, 2016. It says, Russia seen putting new nuclear-capable missiles along NATO border by 2019. All right? And it reads, Russia is likely to deploy advanced nuclear-capable missiles in its European exclave of Kaliningrad by 2019, casting the move as a reply to a U.S.-backed missile shield, which I believe is on Russia's border um, uh, as of right now. They've been um, putting in new missile defense systems over there. So Russia is uh, making moves and preparing to uh, defend itself, and that's what this article is saying. It says, um, and may one day put them in Crimea too, sources close to its military predict. That would fuel what is already the worst standoff between Russia and the West since the Cold War and put a swath of territory in NATO members, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia in the crosshairs. Russia would probably have deployed the missile called the Iskander, the Persian name for Alexander the Great, okay, in Kaliningrad regardless, and the targets it will cover can be struck, struck by longer-range Russian missiles anyway. So this is just Russia just flexing its muscles, man, just doing what it knows it has to do to defend itself as it once again, as it once again becomes a superpower on the earth. Okay, but that's but 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 this is all according to prophecy. Okay, um, and I'm gonna read the scripture after I'm done reading the article. Um, it says, but Russian and Western experts say the U.S. backed shield, which Moscow says is aimed at blunting its own nuclear capability, gives the Kremlin the political cover it needs to justify something it was planning all along. The Russians plan to do a lot of things they have had in, tra in uh, train for some time, said Stephen Pfeiffer, former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, now a senior fellow at the, Brooks, at the Brookings Institution. There's a long history in Moscow of saying what they're doing is in response to what you guys did, even though they plan it in advance. Now, when you read Ezekiel 38 chapter, and I'm going to get it, the most I say is an evil thing shall come into thy mind, Okay which is coming into the mind of these Russians, starting with Putin, through the power of Yahweh Bashan Shai, to build up his military arsenal, man, as well as back up its, um, its uh, Russia's own allies. So it is in the mind of Russia to, to do these things, man, okay? But as the, the scripture says in uh, the book of Revelation, it, it says they, they fulfill all the things that the Most High has planned for them, just, just roughly paraphrasing. Um... It says, it says, it says. There's a long history in Moscow of saying what they're doing is in response to what you guys did, even though they planned it in advance. It says NATO is holding a summit in Warsaw next month to decide how best to deter Russia after Moscow's lightning annexation of Ukraine's Crimea in 2014. The United States, Britain, and Germany have said they will command new battalions in Poland and the Baltics to send Moscow a message. So, so America is, is um, not, not, um, is um, very fine with going back and forth with Russia, man. Because uh, I believe U.S. and NATO, they're building up their military um, along the different borders of, uh, I believe, Russia mainly, and doing war games as well. So it's all a big uh, 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 game right now, but soon it's going to be become... Um, a reality. World War Three is going to be become a reality. All right. It says the summit may prompt Russia to announce countermeasures, but sources close to the Russian military believe Moscow will wait until a, a planned Polish missile defense site opens in late 2018 to unveil a more serious response. Now, looking as at the way things are going as of today, in 2016, June 24. It's all kind of prophecies coming to pass. Um, uh, the spirit has been on me heavy just just in the last hour or two, just to be putting up videos real heavy, man. So the spirit of prophecy 
is is a uh, uh, is moving quickly. So Lord willing, we're not here 2018, 2019. Um, um, I was ready for this place to end yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but these are the plans of these of these mighty men, these military men, and these other nations, uh, mainly Russia, to 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 uh, build up their nuclear defense. Okay. It says the Kremlin has often threatened to put nuclear-capable Iskander M missiles in Kaliningrad, a slice of Russia wedged between Poland and Lithuania, as a repulse to the shield, part of which went online in Romania last month. But it has kept the West guessing about its real intentions. Okay? And the real intentions, okay, is really to bomb the hell out of America, man. Okay? As it says in the scriptures. All right. Um, I'm going to read these last couple of paragraphs. It says, uh, Grigory Polonovny of online Russian news portal Gosnovosti, a pro-Kremlin site which covers the government, said it would be scary when Russia put Iskanders into Kaliningrad and Crimea, but that it was the only way of making America listen. Uh, quote, it will probably only be when they see how serious the situation is that the Pentagon will want to sit down for talks, he wrote. In, uh, end quote. Uh, the Americans always need to stumble into a serious crisis before coming to their senses. And the ultimate crisis for America... So they will understand. How about you? was shot is to be totally nuked by Russia and other countries, man. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, because what all they're doing is really preparing for war. Um. So we going into this chapter a lot. So I'm gonna read Ezekiel 38 and seven. It says, "Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself." That's what Russia's doing. Okay. Um, it's Gog and Magog in the scriptures, and that's what Gog and Magog or Russia is doing, is 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 preparing and being prepared, okay, for the upcoming war. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. That's why they're putting those nuclear uh missiles um systems in place. It says, In all thy company there are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them, like Iran, China. Okay, and other nations that it has business with. It's uh, verse 8. And after many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years, which we're in the last days now, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have always been, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them, because Israel is going to be restored, but it's going to be destroyed as well. It says, Thou shalt ascend in uh, the uh, land. Uh, thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Okay, because World War Three is going to take place in that area. Okay, of the Fertile Crescent. All right, of uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat in the Scriptures in the Middle East. All right, verse ten. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi was shy. It shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind. That's why they're preparing. And thou shalt think an evil thought, bringing evil to America, okay? And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, these, these sheeple of uh, 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 Americans out here, okay? All of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, to take a spoil and to take a prey. And to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods and dwell in the midst of the land. All right. So basically, uh, um, uh, Russia is going to go to into uh, the Valley of, of Jehoshaphat is going to be the, the, the war of Armageddon. OK, the land of Israel is going to be destroyed, but it's going to be brought back. To his uh, pristine condition, America is going to be destroyed to never be inhabited forever. But Yahweh Shai and the angels and the elect of Israel, okay, and eventually all of Israel is going to be restored as the rulers of the universe, man. 
okay? But right now, okay, these uh, things must come to pass, okay? Um, it says in this article, it says, Russia seen putting new nuclear-capable missiles along NATO border by 2019. And it says in Ezekiel 38, it says, Be thou prepared uh, for, uh, uh, for thyself, okay? So this World War III is right around the corner, man, all right? And with that, I'm going to give all praises, all glory to Yahweh Bashman was shy. Double honors to the apostles of uh, GMS, the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And until the next GMS News and Prophecy, Shalom.